Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about some words related to roads. So this one is michi. This is michi. Okay. And this is, oh, did I get it wrong? Michi. So michi is road. Okay, michi. Can you write that again a little slower? So yeah, if you want to know the... And then one, two, three. That's how you write that. Michi. Okay? Very commonly used. Michi. No, number two is kado. This means corner. And this also is tsuno. So the horns of a of a uh, cow are called this they use this kanji as well. Tsuno. But kado is also a corner. And so this one's a little easier to write. So one. or corner. Number three is toku. Oh boy. Uh, let's see. <laughs> yeah, okay. So toku is sound is an O. It's not a U. Okay? And that's one very important thing you have to remember is that this is toy. Okay? It has a double O sound to it. It's not a U sound. So moving onward, Hayaku. quickly. And then you've got a one kind that you will see a lot in Japan. And that is Q. This means any type of emergency. Okay? Or so, so like Q Q shot is an ambulance. Q ni is quickly. Uh, some train companies use hung Q. So the Hang, the Osaka area, quickly, okay? And also a lot of different train types are, so Tokyo is special uh, express, okay? So Kyusha is an express train. So this one is like this. something, because it's an action verb and you're passing through it, you use O for that. Uh, keshite. Keshite means like absolutely. And it's usually used as absolutely not. Keshite tabako o sumimasen. There's no way I'm smoking cigarettes. There's no way I'm eating McDonald's. Okay. There's no way I'm killing a cat. Okay, so those are 
It's almost always used as a negative. Get into stop, we use blank knee, tomato. So, so this is just, what is this, nine? This is just tadashi. Remember tadashi? So tadashi means correct. So if we remove this top part here, and we just go one, two, three, four, this is tomato to stop. Okay. And you'll actually see either, so say this is a road here, and you're driving down the road, here's the intersection. Because uh, Japanese, they drive on the wrong side of the road, or the right side of the road for them. A lot of times you'll see this written on the road. Like that. It's very common on Japanese roads. Instead of having like a, a, a like a stop sign and that's it, like we do, they'll actually write stop on the road. Okay. And Japanese roads are a lot more flashy than ours. They they have a lot more flashing colors, stuff like that. They've got uh, you know how they have like flagmen in America? Will stop people. They got like little they got like little car or not cardboard, but um, plywood men with like swinging lights like this. And that means like slow down, stuff like that. You'll see stuff on the road that's like this with bumps in them. And when you're coming to like a big turn, you'll see that as well. Like a and that means like slow down. Okay. And then finally, Magaru Nambanta. Okay. So, place de magaru. Oh, it is ga. Magaru. Magaru means to burn, uh, to bend or turn. So this means turn at blank. Okay. And I believe it's to but I can't believe well. It's been a while since we wrote these. So speed or dasu. Dasu is the verb for speeding. So dasu is the speed for uh, the verb for speeding. So su pido. And then finally, shinpai suru or shinpai o suru. So shinpai is kokoro, heart, which is shin. Like shinzo is your actual heart organ. Okay? Shin myaku is uh, your pulse. And hai is to kubaru or to like put out there. So shinpai is worry. And you can say shinpai o suru or shinpai suru. Okay. Most Japanese say shinpai suru. Wow, shinpai shita! I was worried. Shinpai shite ta! I was worrying. Yay, our, mon our Monday teaching thing is 